But hey, if he doesn't get that kill below 100, you're Lucario. You can always win, you know? Yeah. Like, Lucario really, I feel like there's no point where you can't win with this character, um, which is what his strength is, really. So we'll see if he's able to. He's got to play really, like, elusive to avoid these confirms from Tilde. Mm -hmm. And uh, something I'm thinking about the matchup is uh, I feel like both of these characters have a similar neutral game plan is in that they uh, they really want to play footsies. They want to stay just outside of your range, get you to do something that you shouldn't be. Um, Vivi especially, we've seen, has been so proficient with the, uh, the shield pressure, uh, already threatening that Aura Sphere movement just a little bit. Yeah, Vivi is a player that I've fought a lot, you know, across multiple brackets. And I got to say one of his biggest strengths is he knows... So Lucario has really, as you can see, just watching the gameplay, has really good airspeed. Um, and he knows how to use that to be so safe. He he will retreat when he smells any sense of danger. Because as Lucario, it's much better that you try to stay alive with high percent than risk it and, like, you know, die potentially. Yeah. Like right here. So Vivi's really safe and tricky to hit with his airspeed. Um, and that's going to be so important against Falco. Being this hard, like, tricky to hit as much as you can. Yeah, but now Tilde taking the first stock, which is cute. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, maybe tried to do some tricky laser movement, accidentally misinputted a side B. I, yeah. I don't know about I, that one. It might have been, like, the side B animation. He might have been, like, hugging the blast zone and the start of the side B animation, even if he does it right, the right way. Right, because he does a little reel back. Yeah, might have might have put a bit. That's my guess. But, uh, honestly, I just, like, was not even mentally prepared for him to die, <laughs> so I wasn't really I looking at him. <laughs> I just have the record scratch in my yeah, head. Yeah. But, I mean, that's huge for Vivi. Uh, not having to worry about getting a, a low aura kill. And this, this... This is, like, such a like pivotal part because it's either Vivi dies right here or he lives to, like, 100 and then can start cooking with Lucario. Mm -hmm. And Vivi also loves re going for those S-smashes. Yeah, uh, that's something we saw in an earlier set is um, Vivi using the Aura Sphere movement uh, as just a bait uh, and saying, hello, I am at this position, please put a hitbox here, and then Vivi will hit the run back F smash. Ooh. Double team, though, a nah. surprisingly strong counter. And what a read of a counter that was, you know? It's not like it was like out of a combo and we were like recovering. It was just yeah. in neutral. He knew that Tilde was going to drop through a platform and back here, just like Tilde just cut the stock doing. So, really, like, hard call out from uh, Vivi. Definitely, clearly showing some downloading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's going to be up to Tilde to uh, start adjusting his timings a little bit more. Uh, especially because that's something that Lucario thrives on is, like I said before, getting you to do something you shouldn't be, and then being ready with some huge hitbox, like a back air, like a forward smash, catching you shielding with a force palm. And the back are coming out. There we go. What Lucario loves to do is getting you in those sort of low angle tumbles. And one thing that is kind of a weakness of Lucario is like, well, you have a lead, because you have a lead, you don't have your aura, you know, so killing becomes like a very different story than normal. And wow, Tilda going for it all with that down air. Yeah, Vivi was looking for a two frame with the aura sphere. Oh, Ooh, that that's... should be big. Oh, man. And it was big. Big Tilde, indeed. Tilde going to be finding that stock after, after being uh, kind of behind for quite a while. Um, just... Like you were saying before, all Tilde needed was that one opening and got the below 100 kill. Yeah, 70%. I I really doubt this up till was true. Yeah, it, it seemed like it, it was a little. But the thing is, it's like I don't know. I guess it's it, you kind of get caught off guard with that dragged out fair. You know, probably Vivi was expecting the fair to like just hit, but yeah. Tilde totally fast fell, and Vivi kind of like just got a bit. I don't know. Looked a bit shocked. Mm -hmm. Kind of just did not press a button and Tilde able to get that up till and he's gonna hit that bear yeah. 10 out of 10 times. So a little bit of a jank game one, a weird SD. Uh, we'll see how things can change for Vivi, but already 70%. Yeah, that was a very quick 70, like under 10 seconds. 
And this is the thing, BB's got to stay composed, because that's kind of a tilting way, you know, to lose the last game. You got down there at 70 and ended up cobbling to a kill. But if you lose composure, you know, it's going to be so easy for Falco to then be able to get more and more hits in, and Falco just needs one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we were saying before, is Falco also just loves loves the conditioning game, uh, and he gets so much mileage out of it uh, with those uh, Kojima cutscene combos. Yeah. Ooh. Downer actually going through the platform. I like that. Until they right there, you saw that up air. Definitely known for being able to mix up recoveries. You know, Falco normally seems to have an exploitable recovery, but Tilde's so tricky. He'll use wall jumps, he'll use rising up airs. Anything he can to make it as ambiguous as possible when he's going to grab ledge. And now a stock lead. This gets so bad because now Vivi does not have aura to get early kills. Oh no, that's so Ooh. tragic. Yeah, Lucario's got a, a bit of a janky uppy. I don't it know if, is. if you ever uh, try to wield it, but whenever I get Lucario on red, I feel like it's like a solid chance to get one SD in. Yeah, no, I, uh, I talked about this in an earlier set, but um, Lucario's uppy can be so difficult to deal with uh, just based on, you know, when does this move have end lag? When does it have a hitbox? Uh, but, you know, if you're not ready, it can be just as jank for the Lucario as the opponent. And look at this. Now, this is very much three stock potential. Granted, if there is a character I'd want to be down three stocks with, it is Lucario. Because mm -hmm. now you got stock aura. Um, this 88% could be a lot, but. That was a great drag down grab. Yeah, that could have been the stock, but um, be able to DI the up throw. But man, this is on borrowed time right now. Yeah, no, Tilde has just been ready for all of these landings. If he can just not get anything started right now. There we go, extreme speed coming in. Uh, we've seen Vivi do that a lot, come in, uh, go center stage with the extreme speed. Nice, bait out the reflector. Something that I think you can't take for granted in the Lucario matchup is you have to respect the Aura Sphere charge. Uh, I feel like if you see Lucario, if you see Lucario charging Aura, you can't re- Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I'm scared if I'm Tilde. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oof. the beast Lucario becomes at 170 yeah. percent with that aura sphere. Out of the force palm looks like a move out of like an anime fighter. At that point, it was insane. Um, so Vivi almost did Lucario classic, almost made a three star comeback, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, at that point, the down tilt was smart because it does do a lot of shield damage up close. And so I think Tilde knew a short hop fair would poke shield there. Mm -hmm. 